Shemuel Rishon, 1 Samuel 22. David therefore departed thence and escaped to the cave Adelam. And when his brethren and all his father's house heard it, they went down thither to him. And every one that was in distress, and every one that was in debt, and every one that was discontented, gathered themselves unto him. And he became a captain over them. And there were with him about four hundred men. And David went thence to Mitzpah of Moab. And he said unto the king of Moab, Let my father and my mother, I pray you, come forth and be with you till I know what Elohim will do for me. And he brought them eth before the king of Moab, and they dwelt with him all the while that David was in the hold. And the prophet Gad said unto El David, Abide not in the hold, depart, and get you into the land of Yahudah. Then David departed and came into the forest of Chereth, when Shaul heard that David was discovered, and the men that were with him, now Shaul abode in Giva, under a tree in Ramah, having his spear in his hand, and all his servants were standing about him. Then Shaul said unto his servants that stood about him, Hear now, ye bin Hayamini, will the son of Yishai give every one of you fields and vineyards, and make you all captains of thousands? and captains of hundreds, that all of you have conspired against me, and there is none that shows eth me that my son has cut a covenant with the son of Yishai, and there is none of you that is sorry for me, or shows eth unto me, that my son is stirred up eth my servant against me, to lie in wait, as at this day. Then answered Doeg the Edomi, which was set over the servants of Shaul, and said, I saw Eth the son of Yishai coming to Nov, to Ahimelech the son of Achiti of, rather, Achituv, and he inquired of Yahuwah for him, and gave him victuals, and gave him Eth the sword of Goliath, the Palishiti. And the king sent to call Eth. Achimelech the priest, the son of Achiti, rather, Achituv, and eth all his father's house, the priests that were in Nov, and they came, all of them, to the king. And Shaul said, Hear now, you son of Achituv. And he answered, Here I am, my lord. And Shaul said unto him, Why have ye conspired against me? you and the son of Yishai, and that you have given him bread and a sword, and have inquired of Elohim for him, that he should rise against me, to lie in wait as at this day. Then Achimelech answered at the king and said, And who is so faithful among all your servants as David, which is the king's son-in-law, and goes at your bidding, and is honorable in your house? Did I then begin to inquire of Elohim for him? Be it far from me, let not the king impute anything unto his servant, nor to all the house of my father, for your servant knew nothing of all this, less or more. And the king said, You shall surely die, Achimelech, you and your father's house. And the king said unto the footmen that stood about him, Turn and slay the priests of Yahuwah, because their hand also is with David, and because they knew when he fled, and did not show eth it to me, but the servants of the king would not put forth eth their hand to fall upon the priests of Yahuwah. And the king said to Doeg, Turn you and fall upon the priests. And Doeg the Edomi turned, and he fell upon the priests, and slew on that day fourscore and five persons that did wear a linen ephod. And Athnov, the city of the priests, smote he with the edge of the sword, both men and women, children and sucklings, 
and oxen and asses and sheep with the edge of the sword. And one of the sons of Achimelech, the son of Achituv, named Aviathar, escaped and fled after David. And Aviathar showed David that Shaul had slain Eth Yahuwah's priests. And David said unto Aviathar, I knew it that day when Doeg the Edomi was there, that he would surely tell Shaul, I have occasioned the death of all the persons of your father's house. Abide you with me, fear not, for he that seeks eth my life seeks eth your life, but with me you shall be in safeguard. <laughs>